Hey everyone, I'm Cheryl Bassett, your Family Connection Coach, and today I wanted to ask sort of a strange question, but why do you buy a drill? Yeah, it's a weird question, but there's a point to it. The point is this, that we don't buy a drill because we want to own a drill. We buy a drill because we want to make a hole. We want the result of what that drill can do for us. Now you have to understand, I'm I love woodworking and so for me this makes perfect sense. I can't explain why my dad had five drills, but I do understand the basic concept of we do, we buy things or we have things in our lives because we want the result of what those offer. And this is exactly what it is when you have a family meeting. Right? It's not that you get all excited about, oh my gosh, every Sunday night at seven like we did or whenever you decide to have a family meeting that you're excited about that. It's the result of that that you want. So my family uh, and our connection was what we call, it's, it's funny, right now I'm doing a, a coursework called Sacred Time, Sacred Space. And for us, I was good about doing it for the family, not so good about doing it for myself. So that's some of what I'm doing now. But that sacred time for our family was Sunday night at seven o'clock. We made it about that and we gave 100% commitment to that because it was important. And I didn't even realize how important until years later. So I want to share just a couple of examples of why that family meeting was not just about that hour that we spent. And sometimes that hour wasn't convenient, but we wanted the result and that's why we continue to do it. So my son goes to college. He's at Ohio State, and he's actually at the Newark branch in um, Newark, Ohio. And it's Sunday night, it's almost seven o'clock, and I call him and I'm like, hey David, what are you doing? And he says, well, it's five till seven on a Sunday night. What do you think I'm doing? And I'm like, well, I don't know. And he said, well, we're having our, our connection, our, you know, our family connection, if you will, with his roommates. Now, Trust me, they weren't doing everything that we did on our agenda because our agenda was very specific for our family, but they were sitting down and they were connecting. They were having this dialogue about what their weeks looked like, their week was going to look like, and things that they had on their, you know, their schedules and uh, support that they needed from each other. And I mean, to talk about three guys doing that, it might sound kind of strange, but that was ingrained in him in terms of the value of that connection. So I already know, right? I don't even have to wonder what he's going to do when he has children of his own. This is the value, right? So yeah, so it wasn't always that we like, oh my gosh, great, yay, it's family, family meeting time, right? It was the result of that that we wanted. And that is exactly if people understood the value, right? My kids call me every week sometimes three and four times a week. It's rare that I call them because they call me because we're connected. We communicate. They, they still share their lives with me when they have challenges or they need input. I'm there for them. They're there for me. That's the connection that we have. If that sounds appealing to you, then I suggest you start having this family connection and, and don't look at the sacrifice. It might be to carve out that sacred time. Look at what the result will be long term. I always say that if you can't talk about the small things, how will you ever sit down and talk about the big things? This is about having that that connection, putting that trust into place, learning how to support one another. That's the value of a family meeting. That's the connection that will connect you for life.